Hi, everybody. How are you today? So I wanted to jump on here really quickly and talk about what was the final straw for Jaden Alexis. And that final straw was allegedly Blueface side piece who goes by the name Ange. Now, according to the rumors, there are multiple side pieces, but the, this one in particularly, Ange was the final straw for Jaden. So we know for the last couple of days, everything has fallen apart between Blueface and Jaden, also Blueface and Krishan. These women have joined forces and decided to work together. Of course, it all started when Blueface decided to barge into Krishan's home and take the baby. He felt Krishan shouldn't be out at four in the morning, leaving the child with a babysitter. It's crazy. My son ain't got no parent at four in the morning. Nobody want to watch him. She got Marsh. Oh she got Marsh watching the baby at four in the morning so she could what? Get some dick? Do a verse? Fuck a nigga? Let me get in here, bro. All this so you could do a verse, suck some dick? You a both bitch. My son ain't got no parent. Four in the morning. Stopping us. Because she want to be a, a, a bad parent to a bad parent. She want to be a yes. Yeah, close the door. Let's go, Marsh. You gonna get your ass whooped soon as we get there. Come on. Jaden got a good fate waiting for you, Marsh. Let's go. So after threatening to have Jaden beat up the babysitter, Krishan is enraged. Eventually, Krishan spots Jaden, pulls over, and starts to talk to her. And Jaden is more than willing to talk to her. Because Blueface and Jaden have already broken up. And they have broken up because Jaden finds out that Blueface is still having a fling with a girl that they knew from middle school. And she goes by the nickname Ange. And not only that, Jaden finds out that Ange is in cahoots with Blueface's mother, Carlisa, and to appear on her show and out the fact that Blueface is still hooking up with Ange. Now, to find out that your man is cheating on you, that's very hurtful all by itself. But to find out that the mother is exploiting your very hurtful situation for clicks and views? But guess who we ran into? I need somebody in here. Guess who is up here in the tattoo place? Guess, y'all. Mm-mm, not Krishan. Not Croissant. Not Jaden. That other one. The one that was at the house. The night before Krishan beat me down and I told on him and I said, that's why so-and-so was at your house last night. Mm-hmm. Guess what? Guess who here? Mm-hmm. Yeah, her. Who? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Worse, y'all. Guess. Look who we ran into, y'all, at the tattoo shop. <laughs> she like, don't get me in trouble. I don't want to be in the middle. Still messing around with him? Well, do you want me to be honest or do you want me to lie? <laughs> and not only did she bring Ange on the show, it's being said that she reached out to several women that Blueface has a sexual relationship with. So when Krishan approached her, she was more than willing to talk because at the end of the day, both women were getting played. So when Blueface manager, WAC 100, finds out what's going on, he goes into a panic. And he goes into a panic not because he's concerned about the situation, He's worried about his bottom line, which is money. Now, WAC 100 said for himself, this is a bad situation. We need Jaden around for money. They have scheduled appearances that they can't cancel. They also have obligations to the record company. So WAC 100 decides to form a plan that will keep Jaden on board. And not only is it going to keep Jaden on board, it's going to bring Krishan a lot more heartache. Because he wants Blueface to come out publicly and say that he doesn't believe that Junior is his son. Hold up. Hey, man. Oh, yes, you do. What's up, man? There he goes. Listen, man. Listen. What we doing? I've seen more episodes of Maury than you. <laughs> okay? Right. I've been wrong 90% of the time. All right. This is my thing. I understand your heart. Sure. I understand your intentions. All right. But we can't skip A, B, and I know you're a crip, and just go to C. Why is this such a problem of getting that done? And I don't know. Because listen, what if we look up 
I don't, know like, how to, I, don't know, I, don't, I don't know how to approach shit like that. Like, you feel me? Like, hey, you just me, go to, look. Let me hold the baby real quick so I can swab him. Like, I don't know. How, how no, do you it? shouldn't even have to sneak it. We got to keep mm -hmm. it real. So at the end of the day, to eliminate all doubt, fuck all the zoo shit, the play they ran. We don't know what they did. Man, just go, nigga, CVS got a swab. You can send that shit in and just be done with it. That way when they come back, you know everything you doing and everything you standing on is right. Because what if you going through all this shit and it come back and blue face, the baby is not yours. Then what? I don't want you to lose your Then I'm going to feel like life. a fucking dickhead. Yeah, but you might snap. You, you, you know what I'm saying? So before you get too far out there in the water, that's a simple Let's eliminate that. Once you eliminate that, all three of y'all then have to work towards what y'all going to do as parents. All right. That's right. Spit that knowledge then. It's real shit. Believe it or not, your mama, even though it looked like she's doing something crazy, her going over there, them attempts, because she got grandparents' rights. She's trying to force the test as well. I know what she's doing. I know it looked crazy, but her going over there requesting and demanding after so many times, she gonna have to give you a test. But it shouldn't even be a fight. Right. It shouldn't be a fight. Well, I mean, I don't know. I I, I always told you, you know, when you work in Jade and work Jade, because you know, whatever you do on the other side gonna take him Jade. Rock got what she wanted out of this. All she wanted was to go live, show some shit. She can stretch this two weeks till she figure out what else she can manipulate your yeah. ass. Well, she look, nevertheless, you. listen. I, I hear you and no. all that. Jaden, the remix is getting done. That other record is getting cleared. Yeah, all that shit going to be, that, it's, it's going to be what it is. Not, I ain't stopping none of that. Yeah, you know, it's dates booked, yeah. book, all shows booked. We, so uh, we still going to do all of that. Shit. This shit get in the way of business, but Jay's mental got to be straight. So you need to go ahead and make sure that's right. Go get that blood test, clear that up. If it's yours, if it's yours, it's yours. If it ain't, it ain't. So he feels that if Blueface attacks Krishan and puts doubt that he's the father of the baby in her mind, this will get the women back at each other's throats because this is when they make the most money. There's only one problem with that, whack. Blueface and Krishan already took a paternity test. It says the alleged father is not excluded as the biological father of the fetus. Oh, that mean you're the father? <laughs> Babe, that's mean you're the father. Uh, oh, it's not excluded. You're the father, <laughs> Oh, that's what that means? Yeah, if you give me a kiss, you a weird ass What? In the meantime, Jaden has called it quits with Blueface. Anne is looking for Ange, who she claims has been doing this, sneaking behind her back for most of their lives. And Ange, well, she doesn't seem to be backing away from Blueface, not at all. In fact, it seems as if she's up for the challenge to confront Jaden. Don't even got a roof over their head, clothes on their back, and you worried about my business. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section. Do you believe the rumors that Jaden and Blueface have broken up? And what do you guys think is the solution to end all of this madness? Until next time, bye for now.